everyone and welcome back to Heather's Plant Boutique. My name is Heather. This is my channel where I talk about all the planty things. Thank you guys for being so patient with me and my lack of content because I was going through a family emergency last week and I didn't want to record anything when I couldn't give it my all. So I want to make sure I can give you guys my all when I record. And before we get started, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe hit that thumbs up and smash the notifications bell. It really does help my channel get out there and it might help you guys decide on some plants for some spots in your house if you guys don't have any. Without further ado, here is my part two summer house plant tour of 2021. Starting with my succulent table. It was custom built for me by my boyfriend back in winter of 2020, right before uh, Corona virus hit us. We got bored and I was looking at ideas and this is what popped up. There are a lot of succulents and succulent type plants in here. For example, like the stray can't, stra <laughs> the transcantia. Oh my God, I could not say it. My brain had an aneurysm. Anyway, there are a lot of succulents in this table. For example, like my echeverias, I have jade plants, I have sedum, I have one that looks like a freaking coral. It is not coral, but it looks like it. And this little fella, he was found under one of my Echeveria plants. I actually went to go move that succulent and I realized that it was rotted and it was already starting to root again and there was another little leaf next to it with a little, little, a little bud on it. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna move you in hopes that it'll root into the soil and become a whole nother plant. So that's that. <laughs> I really love this table. It is one of my favorite things to look at in the mornings when I'm drinking coffee and enjoying all my other plants. I hope you guys really do love this table. I had a few of you guys reach out to me on Instagram asking if I could share more information about this table. I wish I knew more of the names of the exact type of succulents I had in here. I typically just order all of my succulents online. I have found a couple succulents here and there at local nurseries and big box stores, but I found the ones I got at big box stores really didn't last that long. You can kind of see a sad guy in my table. And uh, yeah, well, hope you guys love the table and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. In the den, I am starting with my blue elf aloe. I got him at a local plant nursery in the middle of 2020. I can't remember exactly when I got him, but it was definitely, definitely last year. He has a little aloe baby. Super cool plant, super prickly. I keep him up here in front of the west window with a bunch of grow lights surrounding him so he gets plenty of light. Right next to him is the string of hearts. I have maybe six or seven of these plants now. And then next to that is a propagation pot of random cuttings. I am trying out soil propagation for the fourth time with my three previous soil propagations being successful. So I'm hoping that I could have a random pot of cuttings just grow out and be one big random plant. <laughs> Next to that is my Philodendron Birkin. He used to be one big plant and I ended up separating him and, an, him and the other plant that is now upstairs. They were one plant together. And now they're two. Super pretty plant. I love how the leaves look painted. I love everything about that plant. Right next to that is my Skindapsis. I've had this plant for a while now. He's doing really good. I've moved him all over my house and he still seems to be thriving with no issues, still throwing out new growth. Look at the little baby. And then right below, that is my Sissus Discolor. I got this plant, I think last month and I didn't realize how much it loved humidity until it started showing signs of hey, I need water <laughs> all the time. So now I water it a lot and I'd missed it once a week. 
and I hope that helps. But I ended up propagating a lot of the leaves too. Here is a propagation I potted up of my Black Raven ZZ, a Sabo Blue cutting, and right behind this one is another Sabo Blue cutting. All doing really good. I love propagating plants. And then right here is my ZZ plant. There is a Black Raven ZZ and a normal ZZ that is green. You'll notice the difference tremendously between the both, one being black, one being green. The leaves are super pretty. I love how like detailed like the veins are. I got him back in April and he's just been thriving and growing so big and beautiful. And then right here is my Soli Mutata. I'm pretty sure I said that right. It's a begonia. Super beautiful. It is my, actually I think it was my second begonia I bought. Super pretty. I love how much is going on. Like the underneath is red and white and on top it's a dark, wow, dark green and a light green. It's just so beautiful. Underneath is like prickly also but doesn't like hurt obviously but super fuzzy stems lots going on if you guys don't love begonias getting this plant will make you love begonias and right next to that is my variegated string of hearts it used to have a fuller top but it got attacked by aphids and lost a lot of its leaves but it's coming back it has some new growth and then right below that is my string of pearls and unfortunately this plant also got attacked by aphids but same like the string of hearts it's got some new growth and it's coming back stronger than ever And right here is my Anthurium Cobra. I picked this guy up at a local nursery. He's super cool, super dense, and very, very firm plant for it being an Anthurium. Super easy for me so far. Haven't had any issues. I water him once the soil is a little bit dry. And yeah, he just chills under the grow light and does his thing. Look at all green and beautiful. Next to that is my string of hearts my friend Sarah got for me. I absolutely love this plant. I love string of hearts. You'll never ever hear me say I don't like string of hearts. I, you'll never hear me say I don't have enough because I need more anyway. I just love how vi viney they look and how long they get and how fast they grow. Super pretty. Right behind that is my propagation of my Monstera Deliciosa. Look at that root system. And right below those guys is my Moonlight Philodendron. Super pretty plant, super vibrant. The video doesn't do it justice, trust me. I wish you guys could see this in person. Super pretty. So much new growth. It has given me so much new growth in the time frame I got it. This was another like birthday plant for me. So around the same time frame as my, what was it, the ZZ plant. And then right here is my very, very, very first begonia. My begonia maculata. It is a type of angel wing begonia. Those spots 
are crazy. I can't believe that they are natural. It looks like someone just took a paintbrush and dotted them on. Super gorgeous. I kind of want to throw him on a trellis, but I'm not sure what I want to do. And then right next to that is another type of a angel wing begonia. I can't remember the name. I did just get him yesterday, the day before yesterday, I don't know. But I don't remember the name. But look how red and vibrant that red is. Like, chef's kiss. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Right next to that angel wing begonia is my philodendron little hope. I got this at Petiti's Garden Center. Absolutely love this plant. Throwing out new babies almost every other day. I'm losing a lot of the older leaves, but that's to be expected with one acclimating my new plant and two it being such a vicious grower. <laughs> On to the shelf over here is my spider plant. A little crispy edges, but that's because I uh, underwatered it a lot. Over here is my philodendron. I have a Leca neon philodendron, and then my purple heart Trescantia with the cutest little kitties ever in there. Trying to get a better look for you guys so you can see how vibrant this purple is. And up here is some Hothoria, a cactus, more Hothoria, and I think I want to say that's a Echeveria of some sort. I can't remember, but I know for a fact it's a succulent. And on my fireplace, I have my huge philodendron cutting chilling in a vase of water. And down here is my golden pothos, not golden, neon pothos. I'm having this philodendron kind of grow into the brick, so it's going to go up in between the nooks and crannies. I just love how the root system looks in the water, so that's what it does. Over here is my regal shield, alocasia. This is my first one technically. And I have no idea what plants to put up there, but if you guys know, let me know. Over here is my big jungle above the 400 gallon fish tank. The jungle of pothos. I don't know if you guys seen it in my first plant tour, but I will link it in the description below so you guys can check that out. It's grown so much since then. Well, that was everything for my summer house plant tour of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for joining me. I really love making these videos. If you guys have any recommendations of what content you would like for me to post up, let me know in the comments. Also in the comments below, let me know what your favorite plant is. I would really love to know. If you guys would please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and smash that notifications bell. It really does help me out and I appreciate it. I know I said appreciate a lot, but I really do appreciate you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram at Heather's Plant Boutique to see daily plant content. I do try to post every day, but it's been mostly every other day. But when I do post, it usually is multiple in one day. So go ahead and give that a follow if you would like. Remember guys, don't go through life, grow through life. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Happy planting.